It is 7.03 p.m. and we are on the way to Legacy Village because Taylor is going to buy what? iPad! Bitch! This is what the whole day, 65. This is what the whole day has looked like. Overcast and about 50, 50 degrees, maybe less than that, 45 degrees. Alex is coming too. Taylor sold his iPad 1 to see Kyle run. So we're going to run up and he's going to buy a 3. He's going to get the white 64 gig Wi-Fi plus 4G, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, okay. We'll let you know. Okay. Here in uh, freaking beautiful Beechwood. And uh, I'm looking for a car. Sometimes there's the Apple Store. Look how small that is compared to the ones in California for freak's sake. Hey Taylor, what'd you get there, bud? Called an iPad. Let's see. Ho oh, oh. ho. Let's see what you got. Is that a smart cover? Yes. Oh, dude. <laughs> Damn. I'm just checking this out on the 15-inch MacBook Pro here. You know, their their video editing skills are almost as good as Taylor's. <laughs> <laughs> right. I just got an iPad 3. Yeah! Nothing goes better so we're than Panera iPad and, and Apple. Oh, uh, we're going to record huh. the unboxing of over here. It's going to be pretty impromptu. In fact, we're going to be using a fork. No, and cut the no, don't use no. a fork. No? What are you going to use? Your keys? Uh, my fingernail. Your fingernail? Well, we'll see how that goes, bud. All right, boys, it's time. We got 64 gig Wi-Fi plus 3G, 4G, white, right? Yeah. Yeah, all right, dig in. Let's see, Taylor. Let's see what's in here. Do the Super Pro. We have a black leather smart cover. You know how to open these packages? Nope, no, nope, turn it over. Well, that'll kind of work too. Look on the back. There's a tab. Aha. Uh -huh. Apple has the best packaging with this stuff. Now you push that through and the front lifts off. There you go. And smell that leather. First thing you always have to do is smell the leather. Is it an apple? Oh yeah, black Napa leather is absolutely beautiful. Give it a whiff. Deep. Oh. Isn't that nice? Here, my turn, my turn. Oh, heavenly. It is just like the interior of a new BMW. Oh, man. Isn't that nice? Yeah. It's better oh, than yours, and you already... Yeah. Have well, mine, mine, mine's, mine's a week. It's been out of the package for a week. Is it scratched up? No. No, Taylor, it's fine. It's next, good. next. Boring, boring. Get into the iPad. Come on, I hate these douchebag long unboxing videos. You're the one who's filming it. You're the one who's milking the entire program. Jesus Christ. Out it comes, and as you can see, he made the very classy decision to choose the white model with persuasion from me and uh, Mr. Gardner. Where's he going? He's going away. Oh no! Yeah. There, there he is. All right. So Taylor is actually going to try to use his fingernail instead of the fork, and it looks like that was a successful attempt with the fingernail here today. Yes, I think so. And the plastic comes off. There's lost his virginity. He's keeping the plastic for future use and resale. It's like ketchup packets. And the suction sound. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Freaking right. The they got a tab? Yep, tab on the bottom. Plastic's a little wampus. It's been two years since I've done this. Yep, and you carried one of those across the country for me. And you didn't even break it. I expected it to be in thousands of pieces. Put that smart cover on there. Oh, that is smart. Oh. Freaking right it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Put that down. Try to see if we can put some scratches in it. All right, keep on. Hey, we don't need that, do we? Got a sync cable, yeah. notes and documentation, and some power, and the plastic, which we'll put on eBay later. So that's it. Taylor, let's uh, get it on, and we'll film in a minute. Matt Tjasko is going to give us a demo of what the new iPad has to offer here with the Retina display. As you can see, it, it's it's really nice, and there's a camera on the back that's now really nice, and it has faster graphics. And uh, that's the iPad 3, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Well, it looks like I'm on top of things from yesterday. I ran it about 32 minutes early, which is great. Uh, today was a really good day. Had a good day at the office. It's Thursday already. Thursday's done. I don't know where this week has gone, but it's okay. Um, you know, Wednesday was like 77, I saw the car said, and sunny. And today, I never saw more than about 40, 42, and very cloudy. And I don't know what tomorrow holds. But uh, Taylor got the iPad today. He sold his iPad 1. He net 200, netted. He got $200 from that. Um, so he did get the 16 gig Wi-Fi only white iPad 3 and a smart cover. It's beautiful. I've been trying to talk him into it for a while, and I'm glad he did it. I think he's really going to like it. 
Uh, anyways, I'm going to introduce the clips from today, a week ago. Um, this was our last full day in California. We actually ended up driving up to Santa Barbara to take a look at University of California, Santa Barbara. It was a longer drive than we thought. There's a lot of nothing once you get just northwest of LA, of Hollywood anyways. Um, and it took us probably two hours to drive all the way out there. And I had been to Santa Barbara before, but it's been a long time. We actually stayed in the Hilton there, or the Fess Parker Doubletree, I think. I filmed it. Um, beautiful hotel, really nice. It just feels very disconnected from Los Angeles. And you can tell there's a lot less money up there. It's obviously still very nice. But I can count the number of BMWs I saw on two hands and two feet um, the whole time we were in Santa Barbara. In LA, you can count the number of BMWs you see on two hands and two feet in one parking lot. Um, it's just too far out of the way of things, I think. But if you do, if you wanted the weather and stuff like that and you wanted to be out of the city, then that'd be a great place to live. Anyways, we checked out the school. It was very, very nice. Um, just the location kind of turns me off a little bit. I really like San Diego State, as you know. So uh, there's quite a bit of filming. I filmed a lot on the highway. I love those highways that just go through the mountains. You've got five lanes moving at 75, 80 miles an hour and you just kind of curve through the mountains. I love it. It's beautiful. We listened to some good music, had a good drive. Uh, we did walk out on the pier. We had lunch on the Santa Barbara Pier. Um, it was very nice. I've said that like five times. It was just a great day. Then we went back. Um, we drove out to Dune Point on Malibu, which was cool. We couldn't even see Santa Monica from Malibu. The smog and the fog was so bad. Speaking of the fog, the fog in Santa Barbara was terrible. Um, so it was a good day, and then that night we played Ultimate Tourist and went over to Hollywood Boulevard and did the Star Walk, and I, I took some pictures. I found Michael Jackson Star and Tito Puente and thousands of people I've never heard of, and then we looked at the Chinese Theater and the footprints, and I don't really care about movies and famous people and crap like that, but I figured while we were there we might as well take a look. So we did that, I filmed some of that, and uh, enjoy. Yeah, that's a weird looking Apple store. Looks cool though. We stayed here in what year? Oh, two or three? Yeah. Literally ten years ago. I remember. Are you shooting? Yeah, I'm shooting. <laughs> There it is, Fog Years Freak Boys, check it out. That's south. Damn.
Hey guys, we're in the Marriott right now. This is actually where we stayed last year in Marina Del Rey. Uh, we just came in to use the bathroom, walking around. Uh, we've got complete overcast here on the coast, but you go half a mile east and it's blue skies. We're gonna go grab uh, dinner on Washington Boulevard, where we did last year actually at the terrace, and I'll film that. This should look familiar there. I'll try to film a little bit in the lobby on the way out. We were here last year for about three days, the first three days here in LA. And uh, hasn't changed. Still smells really good. It's a nice hotel. Beautiful floors. I'll film the lobby in a few. feed the cat and it's 11:31, so I'm going to try to get to bed early tonight and get some good sleep for tomorrow Friday already should be a pretty simple day and um, I'll try to start a vlog clip tomorrow morning and I'll talk to you then thanks for watching